It's actually very mixed. William Ronald Rimpel, what do you see as the source of the tension? And, and could, as, as, uh, as Hamza brought in the, the historical perspective, we can bring in the idea, the, the notion, the, the fact that for several hundred years uh, the uh, Islamic uh, scholars took over Hellenistic learning, they transferred it to the West without those six or seven hundred years. Uh, the Western Renaissance would not have been possible, they carried through and improved on and uh, refined and changed algebra, mathematics, astronomy, all sorts of medicine and so on and so forth. So you very much see an intertwined population, yeah. a great vision of Cordoba with Jews, Christians and Muslims uh, learning together in this great city of the Middle Ages. So the, in one sense you could say, well this is strange, they were, they were doing okay with each other. I think you can easily overemphasize the crusader, the conflictual element in the relationship between Islam and Christianity. Certainly it was there, but there have been so many periods when the two have come together peacefully. And in many of the great periods of, of uh, the most sublime literature, the most sub um, technological sophistication have happened in those points of contact in Islamic Spain you mentioned Islamic Sicily and it's a two-way process too I think it's very important to remember Islam's debt to Christianity Islam grew up in what was then a Christian Near East and a lot of the very basic conventions of Islam come from Christianity Ramadan which at first seems a very alien um, Islamic foreign a practice is in fact nothing more than the Islamicization of Lent. If you see how Eastern Christians fast during Lent, they do the all day sunrise to sunset, um, of not touching food or drink. The Islamic um, way of praying with its prostrations uh, is very, very close to the pre-Islamic Syrian Orthodox way, which if you go today to, the, to, to uh, Eastern Turkey, you see them bowing and prostrating in pewless churches that look exactly like mosques. And this goes on, on and over, over and over again. Minarets, the first minarets are square church towers in Syria. So it isn't just a, a situation of conflict, and it isn't just a one-way stream from Islam to the West. It's a very deep and intertwined relationship. The only thing I ever learned about Islam at school, even though I did both theology and history, uh, was the Crusades. That was the only time I ever came into contact with it. And I think it's very important to see that this is a very complex and very intertwined relationship.